guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use these items to create your own homemade disinfecting items using these containers. So this is going to be simple and easy. And I will also have some links down in my description box below to the CDC with some of their guidelines and recommendations. Um, so if you guys want more information and more details, you can feel free to click on those links. Also, I did do a video on how I showed you guys how to make a no sew face mask. If you have to go out, especially if you need to get any cleaning items for your home, then you want to have your face covered. So I will have that video linked in the I cards here above and in the description box below. So you can be sure to check that out. It's super easy and you can make many of them in all sizes for everyone in your family. So now for this video, we have the items here and I also have a measuring cup with eight ounces of water and I have a measuring spoon here. This is one tablespoon. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. Now, one thing I will say is that um, we're gonna use the bleach items here, but these are some items that I picked up from Walmart. These two, the Pure and Gentle Wipes in the packet like this and in this pool kind but they are not antibacterial or antiviral. They're just regular wipes that you would use, you know, to wipe your hands or your face or a baby's bottom. But I already have these at home all the time because I have a little guy. He's six now, but I like to use these to wipe his hands and just wipe things around. And But when everything was going on, I was in the store looking for cleaning wipes. Of course, they didn't have any. And when I saw these at Walmart, I picked them all up because they had like four of them. And I thought at the time that they were antibacterial and I realized once I got them home, they're not. So we are going to make them. So I also did pick these two up from the Dollar Tree. And these are antibacterial, but they are not antiviral. So it says, oh, it says kills cold and, and flu viruses. Okay, that's awesome. I was looking down here and I saw that it just said kills 99% of bacteria in 15 seconds. So I'm glad to see that it does kill the flu virus as well. So these two are new. I haven't used them, but I do have two empty ones here. These are empty. So we're going to reuse these to make more. You can see they're empty in there. So we're, instead of throwing these out, we are going to reuse them to make more wipes so that we don't run out. Alrighty guys, and then if you don't have little containers like this, you can always use a Ziploc bag, which I did get these from the Dollar Tree. And I do like these hefty ones because they have the slide. I like that a lot. So you can use Ziploc bags and place them so like this kind. I did get this from the Dollar Tree before everything started happening and everyone bought everything out. But I like to keep these in my car because if I have to go out, I want to have something to be able to wipe down my steering wheel, my door handles, things like that once I get back in the car after being out in the store. And so um, it's convenient to have them in these little travel size. But if you don't have that and you make your own, you can put them in your Ziploc bag, label it, and then still keep them in your car. So that is that. So now let's mix up our solution and put everything together. Okay guys, so I will say that this top job bleach is from Dollar Tree. So, and I will say when I was at the Dollar Tree the last time, they had several bottles of this and so, you might still be able to find some at Dollar Tree. I would say call first before you just go out willy-nilly and ask if they have any before you, you know, go out. Also, I did get Clorox from the uh, Dollar General. So again, when I was there, they had several bottles of bleach. They were putting things out. And so um, I would say call, just ask if they have any before you go so you don't just go out unnecessarily. So either one, they both have the same, whatever, you know, bleach has. So, and this one has not been opened yet. So we are going to go ahead and open it. And 
we're gonna pour for eight ounces of water, we're gonna put two tablespoons of bleach. And we will give this a stir, a stir. I'll slide this back here. Now, we'll start first with this one since I'll go ahead and open it. And you can see here, the wipes are already in here and I'm just going to pour our solution into it to make this then be, um, you know, useful in disinfecting. Because right now, they're not really useful for disinfecting. They're useful for just wiping your hands or your face and it's hyperallergenic, alcohol free, which is great if I was just, like I said, using it for general purposes, but because I wanna use these for cleaning purposes and disinfecting purposes, then I am adding our bleach solution. So I'm gonna stir it one more time and just pour this over it. And you can um, use your container over and over again. There we have it. And I am going to label this bleach so that we'll know because I have several of these and they're not opened yet and I don't want to get them confused. So I'm going to label it bleach. So that is that one. And so now I know, and I'll keep put this up and away with all of our other cleaning items so that is again, not confused with anything else. And I don't want anyone to use it for any other purposes outside of cleaning. So I'm just shaking it up a bit, making sure everything gets totally saturated. So that is that one. And we'll do the same thing with this one. So let's go ahead and get some more water and bleach going. Okay, so we have our eight ounces of water and I'm going to pour in two tablespoons of bleach. And I will say that the water is just a little bit more than room temperature. So it's not hot and it's not cold. So it's about, you know, just a little warmer than room temperature, I would say. So I'm just gonna give that a stir. Now I will say that I also have this Clorox multi-purpose cleaner. I did pick this up from the Dollar General and it's the value size, so it was a great buy. Uh, I'm telling you guys my secret place because Walmart didn't have anything but Dollar General really came through because they had a lot of items that I was able to get that I couldn't find at Walmart. So this can also be used in your laundry. Let me put it back here so you guys can see. So it is, um, it smells really good and it can be used when you're doing your laundry. So when, if I have to go out to the store, when I go out, when I get home, I take off my, we come in through our mud room and our laundry room is right near it. So then I go ahead and take off my clothes, drop them in the laundry basket or hamper that is specifically for if we're out in the public and then um, I come inside, get cleaned up, put everything away, and then go ahead and wash those clothes. And so I like to use a little bit of this in my laundry. And because it smells good, we will add a little bit of this also to this solution for our wipes there. If you wanna have something that smells good and it smells amazing, it's so fresh and smells really pretty. So I'm just gonna pour, and I'm making a little bit of a mess here, but I'm gonna pour one tablespoon of that. That's all we need. Of that one. If you can't find this, then you can use uh, essential oil or something like that if you want to add fragrance. 
Um, I personally don't have a problem with the smell of bleach. I, I actually like it. <laughs> so I think that to me, it makes everything just smell fresh and clean. But I will say when you're using bleach products, you should make sure your space is well ventilated, especially if, if it's an irritant for you. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the wipes and pour in this solution into the wipes. And I'm just gonna hold it up a little bit so that the solution can pour in there and not spill over. So we're just pouring it in just like that. And I will say sometimes, you know, if you have wipes that kind of dry out a bit, then you can certainly use those for this purpose also. And we'll just seal it back. And I'm gonna just use a napkin to dry it off. And then we will write on here bleach also. So we will know that these are for cleaning. I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and dry. Kind of squish it around in there a bit. And then I'm just writing bleach. So, and again, these will all be stored with my cleaning products. Now, one thing I will say is, you know, when you're using these and you're constantly pulling it on and off, it may lose the stickiness. So I'm also going to store these in a Ziploc bag just to ensure that this does not spill out. Just like that. There, so now I know that is secured. They're not gonna spill out and these are ready for me to use for cleaning. And because we're doing a lot more cleaning than maybe you would normally do, then it's good to have a few items already prepared. So when you're ready to clean, you don't have to actually have to stop and prepare everything. So for me, it makes it easy this way so I can just grab all my cleaning items and go around cleaning all of my surfaces that need to be disinfected. Another thing I should say also is that you can use uh, napkins on your paper towel and just unravel them and roll them all up, you know, cut them to fit inside a container. So like if you only have a container, like this is Addison's cup that he uses for school. But if you had cups and you didn't have containers like those, then you could do the same thing. Just roll all your napkins up and then cut them to fit the size of your container. You cut off the excess and then pour in your solution and you would just pull them out the top just like that and rip it off. So you can, there's other ways that you can use other items if you don't already have prepackaged containers like I just happen to have. And same with these, you can just put the wipes inside a Ziploc bag without having this other container if that's all you had to use. So since I showed you guys that way of using a kid's cup, we will do the same thing using these containers that I've already emptied out. We'll refill it with napkins. So we'll just go ahead and demonstrate how we do that. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm going to just take a roll of napkins and just unroll as many, as you guys can see here, a lot. I'm gonna unroll a lot, several of them. I'm not gonna even take the time to count, but I'm just gonna unroll it to a point where I think it's enough to fit inside this without being too overly full. And as you can see, my napkins are taller than this container, so I'm going to cut off cut them off to a certain point and then I'll show you what I'll do with the other half. So I think this is a good amount. I think these this had 30 wipes in it. I'm sure I've rolled off more than 30 sheets just there with the napkins and so we'll do that. 
So I'm going to roll them a bit tighter so I can make sure it's gonna fit in here nice and neatly, which this lid does just kind of pop right off easily like that. As you can see, I'm just rolling it a bit tighter and neater. Okay, so that took a few minutes to roll those all up, but now you can see they're nice and tight, and I'm just going to measure here and decide where I want to cut them, and I think I'm gonna cut it right about here so they're not too close to the top. But we'll just cut them in half. there and now we'll just stuff these inside the container and I'm going to use this in as the top part because it'll just be easier just like that really easy and then we will pour in our bleach solution on top of these Just kind of pouring it all around to make sure they all get wet on top. And there you have it. I'll just pull it from the center. So now we have our one to start out. Just put the lid over it. And there you have more cleaning wipes when you're ready. And again, I'm going to label this, even though we know this is cleaning products, but I'm gonna go ahead and label that I have bleach in here, just so I'll know that this is one that I made. And there you have it, simple and easy, guys. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, welcome. Oh, you know what? Before I go into that, I'll just show you guys what to do with these real quick. You can take your Ziploc bag, put these in your Ziploc bag, and you can have them on the end like this, or you can pull it from the center, whatever you'd like to do. But put them in your Ziploc bag and fill it with a bleach solution that we've been using. Eight ounces of bleach with two tables, um, excuse me, eight ounces of water with two tablespoons of bleach. And you can use a little bit of the fragrance if you want. But you, then once you put that together, the mixture, you can label these as bleach wipes and put them in your car. Leave them in your um, glove compartment or in your garage if you know you're going to be getting in your car however so that makes it super easy and convenient to have these on the go just I'll go ahead and label it and then I will be sure to go ahead and mix that up and now we have several different methods of having cleansing wipes to clean your home your car when you're out on the go however so you have lots of options here so okay guys i hope that you all have enjoyed this video enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts and i look forward to seeing all of you on the next video much love and many blessings bye bye